Hi everyone, I'm Ari Selma. If you know me, you've seen probably some of my videos, you know that I like to experiment with different approaches to improvising over jazz music. This said, one thing is for sure, I may have my own fears like everyone else, but one fear I do not have for sure, which is I'm not afraid of playing the so-called wrong notes. You've probably heard it from some other artists uh, including the great Miles Davis, there are no wrong notes, only wrong concept. But what does it really mean? Can you literally play any note and make it fit and sound good somehow? As an example, imagine you find a piece of gravel on the road in front of your house and it looks a bit odd. You take that piece of gravel and you put it back in your yard with the other pieces of gravel where it actually came from and suddenly the same item fits because you put it in some kind of context. Every creation, including music, is involving putting different items in a structure, in a concept, to make them sound belonging and creating something beautiful. What I want to offer here are a few methods that can help you deal with these so-called wrong notes. This is by no means uh, meant to offer all the possibilities, there are probably infinite possibilities, but it can give you some tools to work with. In my first example, I will show how it can be done by using leading notes. If you treat this odd note as a leading note to a more safe note, it will sound as if you are intending to use it in purpose of approaching that safe note, and so it will sound good. Take a look at these examples. The second concept I want to talk about is the concept of neighbors. It is building on the previous example only that we can use double or even triple neighbors to wrap the safe note from both sides and approach it. Here are a few examples. The next method I want to show is modifying or kind of massaging the harmony of that chord that we are, we are playing currently. This way the odd note becomes part of the alternative harmony. Listen to the next examples. In the first I will have a whole series of notes that are actually building triads. They are building the triad of F sharp and then the triad of F over the C dominant chord that we are playing. So it sounds like an interesting progression over that chord that we're playing, thus giving it some concept. In the second, I will be playing a B note, but over a C minor 7 chord. So the B will stretch it to be kind of a major 7 and then back to the 7, which is also an interesting concept.
The next method is using the odd note as part of a chromatic structure. Since chromatic structure sounds very good usually over anything, especially in jazz, because it, it gives it some kind of structure, it looks like we are intending to build something interesting here, and guess what? Many times the notes of the structure fall nice over the, the chord that we're playing. As they say, even a stopped watch is correct twice a day. In our case, it's even correct more than twice a day. Here are examples. The next example is even more advanced. It is based on the idea of playing out, doing something completely out of the scale or the chord that we are. Uh, but as long as you know where you are and how to come back and tie it back, it will sound good. Uh, I actually borrowed this uh, next uh, example from Herbie Hancock playing. Listen how it starts from a place that is completely out of the F dominant suspended chord and then it ties back to it. And even more daring, artists such as Miles Davis and others often celebrate odd notes. In other words, they build a structure around them that emphasizes them. This way they sound intended. Listen to the next example where the flat 5 and the flat 6 are treated as very important in our C dominant chord. It is a daring concept, nevertheless, a great one. I will expand in other videos on concepts such as playing out and neighboring notes. As I said before, the examples in this video are only few of the possibilities available in our palette. However, I hope you like these examples and learn something new. See you guys soon!